Simi Solok usually shares other people's miraculous stories with you. But last Christmas, she had an experience that nearly turned her world upside down. She's here today to share her story. Hey, Simi. Hi, Oyoa. Tell us, what happened? Well, I was about 35 weeks pregnant, and I started getting a headache that just didn't stop. It was, I remember I had gone to work, and then I came home, and my head was hurting, and I kept complaining to my husband, my head is hurting, my head is hurting. So we went to get medication, and I took some, but then as the night went on, it just got worse, and I, I took a nap. When I woke up, I couldn't see. What do you mean you couldn't see? What, your eyes were blurry, or...? No, I couldn't see a thing. Like, I was, I had to open, like, I was looking around, like, I can't see. So I, I called my husband, I said, I can't see. Wow. Now, let's fast forward to when you get to the hospital, because um, I, I, from what I remember, you, you found out that things were quite grave and you yourself had to be quite strong in your faith to, to overcome what was being said by the doctors. Yes, the doctors told me that, um, actually, they didn't know what was wrong. They kept doing different tests. And so they, they had done an MRI and said they saw swelling in my brain. Um, so we had to deliver my baby. Um, they didn't know what would happen. They said my blood pressure had gone through the roof. And Sorry, you, had to, you say you had to deliver a baby. Yes. When was the baby due? He wasn't due for another five weeks. Wow. Yeah, so I was so nervous. I was just, there's so many things going through my head. I'm like, I can't see. But then I'm like, is he okay? Is my baby okay? Um, but actually what happened was when, when they told me they had to deliver him, the thought came to my head that I'm not going to see my baby. Wow. And that's when I was like, I need to pray. So when, when that thought comes to, into your head, uh, your first reaction is, I need to pray. Or did you, did, did that cause fear for a minute? Yes, I was scared. I was mm. really scared. But I had um, my family praying. Holly and Erica were there, my husband. And I said, can we pray? We need to pray. Because mm. I felt like this is a battle. Mm. We need to pray. So I just, I thought in my head, you know, when God gave me, uh, gave us this child, he, it was not his will that I go blind. So I thought, I'm not going to accept this. I can't accept this. Wow. And did you find that there was, uh, your strength was coming just from your, your inside or did having people around you was, did that add to your strength? Or? I think the major thing was the word of God. Mm -hmm. Um, because before we had Emmanuel, my husband and I had had two miscarriages. So there's a scripture from Exodus, Exodus 23, that says, worship the Lord your God and his blessing will be on your food and water. He said, I will take away sickness from among you and none shall miscarry or be barren. I will give you a full lifespan. And that scripture, I'd been meditating on it through the pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And at that point, it just came alive. I held on to it. And I said, I'm just gonna worship you, Lord. I had a peace in my spirit. And I said, no, this, I'm not gonna be blind and having a baby, no. So we just started praying. Okay. Yeah. So now, did you? At what point did you feel the the physical uh, change or the physical manifestation of the things you were believing? Um, it was about two days. Okay. Um, I couldn't see, but then. So you couldn't see for two days. Yes. And they didn't know if I'd get my sight back. But then I started to see blurry, like I think it was my husband's shirt, and I said, "Oh my goodness, I can see like an outline of him." Hmm. So it was just, I was like, wow, okay, just keep believing, keep praying. Now, looking back, what, what for you was, was a crucial thing in, in terms of helping you to maintain that position you, you had, that position of faith and, and mental strength? What, what, what was key to that? Because someone's going through that yeah. right now and, and just being told the things you've been told, I mean, that's enough to crush everything inside of you. How can you remain strong in those times? It was definitely God's promises, his mm -hmm. word. And his word says, and John, it says, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But I have come that you would have life and life more abundantly. And I said, you know, Jesus has come that I would have life. And I'm going to so have So you repeat life. those words to yourself, yes, would you? Yes, yes. I kept, I kept thinking in my head, God's word is true. God's word is true. And so his word became life. Wow. Yes. Well, you, you say his word became life. We, we really do have evidence of, of that life because yes. in the studio with us is uh, the result of God's miracle. Yes. And, and he is here. Yes. He's here. My baby. <laughs> his first time on television. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Ooh, yeah. Oh, look at him smiling. Look at him smiling. 
<laughs> Say hi. Hello. Now, I, I would carry him, but, you know, from my experience, as soon as I touch them, they start crying. <laughs> <laughs> no, he wouldn't. He's our Christmas baby. He wow. came just in time for Christmas. What? What? Yeah. <laughs> and he's look, born. he's frowning at me. He's frowning <laughs> at me. I'm only celebrating your life. Why are you frowning at me, dog? <laughs> so, Simi, uh, looking back now, would you say that uh, you would happily go again? For sure. You know, I don't want to let fear take over. I want to walk by faith. And I want to give him a little brother sister. <laughs> <laughs> a little brother and sister. Yes, by God's grace. <laughs> and what's the journey been like since he was born? He's been awesome. The first couple months was hard, um, mm. but he's a great baby. He's very calm. Just like his <laughs> It's mother. been great. So he's our Christmas miracle, for sure. Christmas miracle. Yes. <laughs> our Christmas miracle. Yes. Now, is he going to be a TV producer? A TV presenter? No, he's going to be a soccer player, according to his dad. Fantastic. That's good. I'll be his agent. <laughs>